I'm Simon, and the slides are hopefully going to work right now. Last time I did a talk on Vespucci was five years ago in Birmingham at Sotom. So I'm not going to go through the change list. I'd have to talk even faster than Brian. So I'm just concentrating on what we did this year. We had released 10. Just as Brian, I try to have a minor release with small updates once per month. And we're doing about two major releases per year, and perhaps minor, larger releases, two to three per year. Best thing that we did, I think, was WMS support and MB tile support and open aerial map. I had a discussion yesterday about Vespucci and people said, well, why do you actually have background imagery? Well, the thing is, if you see the aerial imagery and you're there, you can put a lot more into context. And you can actually see, for example, this artwork outside. You can actually see, OK, this is this white thing which is on the imagery. We just released version 11 early this month. Has a GeoJSON layer support, so you can actually load an open data set and see where um, things are directly. Um, I use that for address mapping, for example. We have an auto preset function now, so you can actually search for a term and it will generate a preset for you that is stored in permanent storage on your device, so you can actually reuse it or improve it, and a couple of other things. Stuff that you should try. I, I, these are stuff, things that have been around for quite a long time. Indoor mode, preset-based filters. And preset-based filters are interesting because there was this Twitter thing going on just before I came here that all the pedestrian crossings in Milano don't actually have curbs um, tags. And you can make Vespucci into a dedicated pedestrian crossing app with preset filters in about 10 seconds. Upcoming, even better preset handling, perhaps map roulette support. That depends very much on Marta. Is he still here? Nope. And the 10th anniversary. Vespucci has been around a very, very, very long time for an Android app. 10 years, March 2019. And as you can see, the development has been going on quite consistently over that time. So really, the only thing that I actually wanted to say is, due to Google, we'll be dropping support for pre-Android 4 devices perhaps, perhaps even 4.4. Sorry for that, not our fault. If you really want us to continue support, you should talk to us. We had a similar problem, we have a similar problem with 2.3 Android. Every time I ask, nobody complains. But we actually had a regression in our code early this year, and I saw lots of crashes on 2.3 devices. So they are actually being used out there. Nobody communicates with us. So thank you. If you want to look up stuff, that's it. <laughs>